Right, so here it is. My MR2 track car build. Tell you all about it. <laughs> So make way for the new, new era, the young era, parents who So it's clearly, obviously, a Mark III MR2. I've had it for about a year. I bought it when uh, my gearbox on my R26 blew up. And I needed something to run around in. And I've wanted one of these for a while. And I want, I've wanted one as a track car. So I thought that was the time to get one. I picked it up for about, I think it was 11 and a quid with the wheels. It's got EVC green stuff pads. Oh, pretty skanky now because they've been sat for a while. Other than that, it's completely like it. It's not completely standard. It's got a twist ball manifold for the pre cats. If you know anything about these things, they like to burn oil because of this pre cat thing. And we won't go into that. It's just it's sat here for about a year. I've been saying that I'm going to get on with it for ages. All my friends and all the boys go on, me, go on at me about doing it. So finally, I'm busy at work, so there's going to be some money so I can start doing things. So, the plan for this MR2 is going to be a cheap track car. I've got some cheap lowering springs, which I mentioned, on some shocks for I think they were 80, 85 quid. Um, I've had them for ages. I bought, I plan on doing stuff to the car and I haven't done it. Anyway, so yeah, cheap track car. So I've got the original wheels with a car. I'm gonna go for some 88Rs, original sizes. So for handling, for the time being, that's sort of gonna be that. Maybe some anti-roll bars, if I see some come up cheap enough, or second hand, or whatever. And then it's gonna be lightweight as possible, which is gonna be fully stripped the interior, obviously. I've got the hard top I picked up, and they're like 500 quid, paid 500 quid for it, all fitting kit. A lot of money for what you get, really. But anyway, soft top's going to be coming out, so that's a good good chunk of weight saving. Let me completely strip the interior. Get some bucket, seat, bucket seats, roll hoop with door bars, harness bar and all that, and see how we get on. But when it comes to the weight loss, I'm going to do videos of weighing each part, what it weighs, and just see how light we can get the car, because I can't really find anything online that tells me, I don't know, there's a few bits, you've probably all seen them, but I want to properly be able to show people what you can actually weight save on these and how, how it will, how it could perform with the standard power, because the engine's going to get left alone for the time being, and we're going to see how we get on with that. Moving on with the car in the future, after we've done all the weight saving and a load of track days, and to be honest, I've got to learn to drive, I've not really done any track work, but if I like it, and I'm not too stupid and I don't smash the car up, that'd be a good start, wouldn't it? Um, it'll obviously be due to suspension properly, coilovers, all that. I hopefully have the bucket seats and all them installed, roll cage, and the car will be as lightweight as it sort of can be. And hopefully if I know how to handle the car, we'll then be looking for power. So I wouldn't want to go for a charge route, I wouldn't want a turbocharger or a supercharger, because for track I want the NA reliability. So Obviously there's two options, isn't well there's quite a few options really, but for NA power, good NA power, you've got the two ZZ out the Salikas, which I'm sure if you guys are watching this you probably know about anyway. And obviously there's quite a few people doing now, especially in America, the K20 swap. I mean, I'd probably sway towards the K20 swap, but for cheapness maybe the two ZZ swap. So we'll see, shall we? I'm not saying for definite on either of those swaps. I mean things might change, might get a different car something might come up we don't know but yeah looking forward it's going to be lightweight track car build should be lots of videos on it i'm the guy that does the video and the editing so there should be a lot to see hopefully everyone will help me with it um yeah lots to come oh no rear lights is because it was parked up for a while they all filled up with water it had about two inches of water in the bottom so i took them out with the intention of sealing them up and i just haven't done it but hopefully now I'll get round to doing it because it's time to get the car on the road, start doing track days. I've spoke to Greenlight about the insurance, so I'm just sorting that out with them now. So hopefully in the next couple of weeks, things are going to start happening with this car. So if you want to see what's going to be built and what I inevitably end up doing or what happens to the car, please like and subscribe to the channel. Well, that was rubbish, wasn't it? If you want to see more from this, 
please like the video, subscribe to the channel and hopefully you'll get to see a lot more from this car and more from us guys playing with it and all the other cars we play with. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Cheers. Bye.